Right, you'll see now the gas burner is firing. That's because the wood uh, has dropped down in temperature. The oven temperature now is below 345. The floor temperature is now just picked back up again to 335. <clears throat> but it is low and you'll see that as soon as this cuts out at 345, there it goes. Uh, the floor temperature will, at least the oven air temperature, will plummet again. Uh, and this will give us a blue light indication, meaning we need to put more logs on. <clears throat> blue light, okay? Now this is dropping down, 344, 343, and you'll see the gas burner will automatically fire very shortly. Uh, this will fire again at 338 degrees. Sorry, 338 go gas burner fires to maintain the oven temperature and the integrity of the oven you'll see this will skyrocket now 331 green light <clears throat> but still uh, this one's going up and when that gets to 345 this burner will cut out 341 and so it's going up if you look inside now, you'll see this burner will, when it reaches 345, 44, 45, this will cut out. This is now showing 335 and dropping again. And this will continue to happen until you put a log on the fire. So we'll put a log on the fire, that'll stabilize the air temperature. And when the air temperature is stabilized, the gas burner will no longer fire. This is the fire ticking over and you can see how little wood you need just to maintain it at temperature. So it's not a lot at all. When br brushing the ash off the floor, you want to make sure that you brush it back into the fire pit for de-ashing. You don't want to brush it into the sides of the oven. So we're just brushing this, cleaning the oven off and we're brushing it into the fire pit. And this is where de-ash is from. There we go.